everyone, welcome back to another one of my style videos. Today's video is about my favourite topic, capsule holiday wardrobes. Those of you who've seen a lot of my YouTube videos will know that I am a believer in the capsule wardrobe. It's really important that we travel light and for me, my travelling light is always in my little Lulu Guinness bag and I really like to plan my holiday wardrobe ahead of my holiday so I'm really organised about it and I've been talking to the lovely people at Collect Plus about the research that they've recently done about holidays and our holiday wardrobe habits as a nation and interestingly enough the thing that I found most amazing is that men spend more on their holiday wardrobe than us women and I've kind of always suspected it because men don't plan as much as women do and that's why I wanted to do this video to really help you guys understand how you can plan your capsule wardrobe ahead of your holiday. I'm not going away till September but I'm already starting to build a little bit of a holiday wardrobe at home ready so that then when it comes to September I know exactly what I'm packing, exactly what I'm going to be wearing and I'm really organised about it. So my first tips for your capsule holiday wardrobe are Nude or metallic shoe. I've opted for nude this time, but if you go for nude or metallic, it will go with absolutely everything that you take. So you're not going to clash. It's going to be that one shoe wonder. You don't need to take lots of different pairs of high heels and sandals. Just take one sandal that's going to work with all of your outfits. I also like to take a clutch that's going to do exactly the same. This one I ordered online, and it's multicoloured, so it literally has every colour under the sun. It's a very, you know, kind of natural print, it's not going to affect too many of my outfits and it's going to go with everything, so lots of different colours in there. Oh, it's got my sunglasses ready as well. So they're the accessories that I'm going to be having and they're going to work with everything. Then I think about my casual wardrobe, like the daytime element, and if I'm honest, for me, usually a holiday is lounging by the sea or the beach um, and swimming pools, sunbeds, that's really how, how active I like to be during the day. So I always take a really ni nice pair of shorts, these are looking a little bit tired I must admit so I'll probably be buying some more, um, a couple of t-shirts, a really great swim costume and then a really nice caftan or sarong for by the swimming pool and I think a sarong is really great because you can wear it as a scarf on your way to the um, actual holiday so you can wear it on the aeroplane to keep yourself warm but you can tie it around yourself as a dress, tie it as a skirt, it gives you lots of different options and then there's also the caftan option which you can wear with trousers so it's good to go for a real statement print that's going to make you look wow factor when you're covered up by the swimming pool. Also it's worth thinking about the tops that you're taking for your evening looks so that they can go with your daytime shorts. So I've picked two really great evening tops I've got the cold shoulder trend going on, a bit of frills, a bit of florals, so I'm really bang on trend in terms of this spring summer. I'm planning on doing it with a stretchy skirt for evening because it's quite casual, it's quite relaxed, but with a heel that looks glam and also stretch fabrics are great for ca um, capsule wardrobes because they don't crease. But the really great thing about these tops is once I've worn them for a couple of evening or an evening option, I can then wear them the next day down to breakfast with the shorts and it looks just as stylish. So I'm looking, you know, stylish at all different parts of the holiday and I'm really thinking about how they go together so the colours are all tying in together. Another one that I always think is really, really good for daytime is a little play suit or jumpsuit, whether it's denim or it could be a nice cotton fabric. But during the day, it looks great. You can put your swimming costume or bikini underneath it for a bit of sightseeing, some sandals or flip-flops is usually what I opt for. But then do it up, add a statement necklace, pop on a heel, add that clutch bag, and it's really great for evening as well. I always find it's probably better for evening later on in my holiday because my legs are so pale at the beginning and they've got a bit of a tan by the end. So that works really well. And then the last thing is always to go for one real wow factor piece. It's a holiday. You want these photos from your holiday to be memorable. You want to look back and go, wow, do you remember that amazing evening we had in Ibiza when I was wearing that floor length red dress? Something you wouldn't wear in this country. Maybe if it's a jumpsuit, if you wouldn't usually do it, or something that's wow factor. I've gone for this fab wow factor red dress um, for my holiday and I know that that's the one piece that I will think about that holiday and remember and you don't have to spend a lot of money on it you can just have a bit of fun with it but just think outside the box a little bit because the dresses that you're taking for your normal evening looks need to be part of that capsule wardrobe as well so I've opted for these two dresses they're two striped dresses they're really great for breastfeeding but they look good during the day but if I add in the kimono of an evening the glam shoes 
bit of jewellery, a bit of bling, they look really stylish overnight as well. And again, I've gone for jersey. Um, it doesn't have to be jersey fabric, it can be a cotton, but you want to make sure that it folds up and doesn't crease too much because there's nothing worse than taking a gorgeous dress out of your case once you get on holiday and it's completely creased. But the most important thing is once you've got the starting points of your wardrobe, is that you spot where the gaps are. So for me, I'm definitely thinking I need to update my shorts, probably need to update my t-shirts as well, and I definitely need a new bikini. And so when I've got everything out, that's when I get my iPad out, start kind of perusing the online shops, getting a selection of things. And for me, it's all about online shopping when it comes to my holiday wardrobe, because I like everything to come to me, so that then I can look at what I've got, try on the pieces, and ensure that I'm not overspending or getting too much to go in the suitcase I can make sure that it's all going to fit it's all going to tie in together and so I use Collect Plus all the time I like the fact that I can go and pick it up really easily I can try it on at home and anything I don't want to keep I can take straight back to my Collect Plus shop which is just around the corner and I know that my returns are sorted and so that's how I would start to plan your wardrobe and I personally think online shopping is the easiest way because you can do it all at home and it's really really easy you don't even have to leave the house who wouldn't love that but more importantly, um, there's a really fantastic app that Collect Plus have come up with and it's called the Wonderlust Wardrobe. I'm going to put the link below and it's just something they've done to help you pick out that perfect holiday wardrobe. You click into it and it says start packing. So you press the start packing button and it gives you lots of different holiday destinations. A cruise, the United Arab Emirates, Greek islands, Florida. Pick on the country that you're going to or the country that represents kind of closest to where you're going. So I've just clicked on Florida and then it tells you the temperature in Florida. It also tells you the likelihood of rain, the humidity and it gives you day and night outfit options. And I think that's such a great idea because it kind of makes you think about what you're going to be doing on that holiday. So for example at night time in Florida it's suggesting a little black top and trouser combo so you might want to go a little bit more glam but it's not overly dressy whereas if you're going to somewhere like Ibiza you might want to go more glam so check it out it's really great I think it's a really nice idea Collect Plus are just showing that they're really thinking about you guys as a consumer and how you're shopping for your holiday wardrobe and it's just a little bit of fun so make sure you visit it and most importantly really do think about that wardrobe as a capsule don't overspend don't over kind of pack because you're going to be bringing back loads of stuff and it's going to be hard to pack in if you find anything that's really nice to shop for when you're on holiday and it's just really efficient where you don't have to think about it and you'll look you're guaranteed to look fantastic on your holiday have an amazing time and see you all soon